Hello, I'm Jack Caldwell, and uh, a couple of my friends have been asking, what is jug fishing? So I've decided to make this little video to, to help all you guys out, and all the other people who want to take interest in jug fishing. What we're fishing for tonight <laughs> is catfish. Um, a lot of people say, you know, well, why would you have such a sh short string if you're fishing for catfish, because catfish are on the bottom. Well, during the day, that's mostly true. But in the dusk and all through the night and in the mornings, catfish come up to the top to feed. So that's why we have strings on here about, about this long, right here. To jug fish, you need a jug. And what we use as our jugs is Gatorade bottles, 32 ounce. We spray paint them neon orange, and uh, that way we can sit there, and whenever you shine a light on it at night, you can see it. Now, also what we use as bait, we use minnows. You can use jumbo size, you can use little ones, but we prefer the medium ones, mainly because of price. But anyway, what you would do is you reach down the bucket here, try to get one, whoop, whoop, they're slit. You would take one right here. And you hook it in the small of the back. You gotta move a little bit of the scales here. And then you just poke it through. Right there. Now, the reason why you hook it here is because a catfish, which is what we're fishing for, when a catfish comes up to eat it, it eats its prey head first. And whenever it bites onto it, when it goes to pull away, the hook just hooks right in its mouth. Right there. Right now we're sitting in about a hundred, we're sitting roughly about a hundred foot of water right now and the temperature of the water is roughly around 65 to 70 degrees. Now this is actually pretty prime weather for it because the catfish are coming off the bed right now. The winter is getting over, the water's warming up and they're all getting ready to eat because they haven't eaten most of the winter. Well, the time we're fishing is in late evening and through the night. So what we use is 3 million candle watt right here. Some bazooka flashlights is really what I like to call them. But we use these to reflect over the water and see if uh, see what our jugs are doing. See if they got a fish, see if they're tangled in anything. All right. Well, here's our first catch of the night. Probably around a three pounder there. It's pretty simple. What you do is you just reach in here, uh, untangle the net from it. Oh, well, that is about a five pounder. Right here, and you grab it. So, what do we got? Now, what's cool about catfish here, you zoom in there and get it on his teeth. That's his teeth. It's kind of like sandpaper, more so than like actual teeth. It can lock down on my finger right here if I wasn't careful. But if I put my whole hand in there, he'd probably just chomp down on it pretty good. Kind of like that. Right there. Now let's see if we can get this, get this hook out. Lazy yellow moon coming up to tonight, shining through the trees. Crickets are singing and lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Baby, get ready. There we go. There yeah. we go. And here's a fish. We're going to put him in the lab well back here. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Oh, God. Jack, give him a kiss. Hopefully, it's a girl. <laughs> Don't tell Teresa. There we go. On. <laughs> one down, 52 to go. We'll rebate it and then uh, we'll see if we can catch another one off the same jug. Yes, sir. Got it on that. There we go. That's how it's done. Nate, the rookie, the greenhorn on the ship. <laughs> Did a great job.
Sometimes we don't always catch catfish. Sometimes we catch turtles, um, bass, trout. And the main thing is we gotta throw them back. So anyway, we'll be throwing this one back. Look at that guy's head. Well, it's one o'clock and we're calling a night. What we do is we leave out the jugs, and let them sit overnight, and we come back in the morning. We'll get up about six o'clock, get out here at daybreak, and go around and pick up all the jugs. Usually, it takes anywhere from about an hour to an hour and a half as soon as we're on the water. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. It's about 6.40 out here on Lake Blue Ridge. Okay, beautiful, beautiful little sunrise. Starting to happen over here. Well, that's it for the morning. We picked up most of our jugs. We may have one or two still left out there, but we could not find them. Now begins the actual hard part. <laughs> Even though the fishing's over, we still got a lot of work to do. Well, what we're doing now, one of those jugs that uh, uh, we couldn't find has turned up over here in the docks. So maybe we can grab it. Yeah, that jug I was telling you about, the one we saw out there? Oh, it just so happened. Woo! Yeah, this little guy right here. Look at that. That's a pretty good one. I'd say it what? 20, 25 pounds? Eh. I'd say around 20. Beautiful fish right there. We're out of room in our live well. So we're just going to stick its head in the bucket. Right there. <laughs> now I'm all slimy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nothing quite like issue. I'm going to go wash myself off. Anyway, now it's time to clean them. <laughs> 